guys, so today I'm going to be doing a try on summer collective haul. This is a pre-Europe haul. I'm going to Europe and I'm going to be shopping a lot so there's going to be a post-Europe haul as well. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with shoes. These are Nike Air Force Ones. I have the white ones as well as the white high top version but I wanted a pair of black ones so I got these and you know they're just like a basic sneaker. The socks were buy one get one half off so I just got some black, gray, and white socks. I went to Brandy Melville. I got a few things. I got this shirt from Brandy. This says hotter than hell Death Valley 1984. It's just a graphic tee and it's like ripped up at the neck here. I love shirts like this. I wear t-shirts and shorts, wear t-shirts and jeans literally all the time. That's exactly what I have on right now. And then I got this little suede skirt. This was $25, which I think is a really good price. Obviously, it's faux suede. I got a couple jewelry pieces. So I got this really cool like chain looking choker necklace. It's like a double layered one. And then I got these cute little star earrings. I got this really cool, like, I don't even know what color this is. Blackish, red, blue, iridescent, super cool, thick velvet choker. So it's like this, and then you would tie it around your neck with these strings. So it's super cool. I went to Sephora, because how can you go to the mall and not go to Sephora? The first thing that I got was in the little checkout section. Bosha? Boss? Basia? Boss? I don't know. I literally was watching a video of someone using this and they said it the correct way or I read something about how it was pronounced and I can't remember. So yeah, it's like the classic like um, charcoal mask and this is like a three pack tester. So it has the green tea oil control mask, the luminizing black mask, and the bright white mask. Another item I got while checking out was the Kula Sport SPF 50 unscented sunscreen spray. This is made with 70% certified organic ingredients, I guess. So it's like better for you because I know sunscreen is not good for you or the environment, but it's really important to protect your skin. I also got the same brand, Bosha, Boschia, I don't know. I literally wish I knew. Um, this is the white charcoal mattifying makeup setting spray. And I saw Jeffree Star use this in his Get Ready With Me Rolls Royce with Nikki Tutorials. They went to the mall because they didn't have setting spray and they got this and tried it. And I was like, ooh, I wanna try this. So this is, it looks like milk. It's like white. Mmm. It smells like a spa. This is a huge bottle and it was only $15. So I think that's amazing. The last two things I got are both palettes. So this is the new Anastasia Glow Kit, and I really wanted to try this. It has some interesting colors. So this is the Glow Kit Sun Dipped is the name. So this is the new one. This is what it looks like. You'll probably be able to tell I dipped my finger in all of them already, but they're beautiful. These ones kind of scared me at first. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wear those, but seriously, Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And the last thing that I got is something that I was really looking forward to. This is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection Face Palette. This comes with three blushes and two highlighters, and they are so beautiful. I'm so excited. And look at this huge mirror. This thing is so big. I'm so excited to try this. I'll let you guys know what I think about it. I mean, obviously, I'm going to love it because it's Becca and Jaclyn Hill, it's gonna be amazing, but I'll probably put it in a favorites video and you guys will hear how much I love it. I went to Lululemon because I have been working out a ton and I wanted some new leggings. So this is like one of my favorite places to get leggings for working out. I know they're expensive, but seriously, they are so worth it because I feel like a lot of places their leggings are see-through even when they say they're made for working out they end up being see-through and when you're doing squats and stuff I don't really want people to see my underwear. These are the Wonder Under Crop so they look like not cute like at all when you look at them you're like that's not cute but on they look really good so they're cropped and they're super tight and then I got the high-waisted ones so they you know, suck you in and cover everything, which is good because sometimes when I'm doing crunches, you know, you get you get that roll, which is like fine, you know, everyone has it, but 
you know, I like to be all sucked in, especially when I'm running and stuff. I went to PacSun and I got a bathing suit. This is from the Kendall and Kylie collection at PacSun, and it's this one piece. It's super cute. It connects right there. The top half is white and the bottom half is black, as you can see. I mean, you have eyes. You can tell what this bathing suit looks like. And it has this cutout in the center, and it's so cool. This bathing suit looks amazing on and it was only $30 which is so good for a bathing suit I went to urban I got these vintage Levi's shorts which I literally got three pairs in this entire haul so sorry I'm a little extra but these are like the urban renewal so they're vintage Levi's they're super cute those this wash is amazing they fit perfect this has some nice cuts in the butt they're a little bit like cheeky like you can see your butt but Drew was like, those are so cute, you need them, and they fit me so well, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna buy them, I'll wear them to the beach, because, you know, when you take off your bathing suit, like, you can see your butt anyways, so, I bought them, I'm not sure how often I'm gonna wear them, who knows, maybe I'll end up returning them, I really love them, though. The last thing that I got from Urban Outfitters is this super cool choker, I saw this choker online and I died, it's like ribbon, and then it has this little metal part right here, and this cool like marble stone in the middle I am obsessed with this I think it's so sick second to last place I went is Reformation I love that store it's amazing they use all like recycled fabrics but this shirt is this like silky shirt you really can't tell but obviously I'm gonna do a try on it's long sleeve it's super wrinkled right now and then it ties in the front. This is the cutest shirt I've ever seen in my life. Their dresses are adorable and perfect for summer. It is so damn hot right now in California. So dresses like these are perfect for the summer here. This looks like super see-through when I hold it up, but it's really not. Like once you, like when you have it on, it's not see-through at all. It's just this crazy light that I'm using right now. But it looks like this. It has this beautiful floral print on it, and it literally looks so see-through, but I swear it's not. And then the back has this deep cutout. Then I went to Nasty Gal, and I got so much stuff. I guess we'll just start off with the two pairs of shorts that I got. So these are from After Party Vintage. These are high-waisted vintage Levi's, but they're so cool because they're two-toned. So I'm sure you can tell the front is lighter and the back is darker. And I think it's so cool. They button up the front and they just fit so well and they're long enough in the back. My butt doesn't hang out, which is really nice. I got another pair and I was wearing these earlier, which is why they're, you know, rolled up like that. But these are a lighter version. So they're super light and then they're a little bit darker. I got two pairs, which is like a little bit extra. I was trying to decide between the two of them and I was like, honestly, I want both. I got some pins from Nasty Gal because pins have been so in right now and I saw a little display that they had of some pins and I just couldn't resist so I got three well technically four because this one came with two so this one is a little emoji pin and it's blowing a pink bubble I don't think this is an actual emoji like I think that they made this up but it's so cute and it should be an actual emoji so I got that one then I got this one which is supposed to be like a little Capri Sun pack and then this is two roses with their stems. So I'm probably going to put these on jackets or maybe even on the shorts. I got this romper, which I might return. I haven't decided. I like it. It's a little bit tight. Like it really is very form-fitting. So it's like a cotton romper and it's very deep and then it has this knot in the front and then it's short. I got a couple bathing suits from Nasty Gal. I got this one which doesn't have bottoms because this is just black so I didn't think I needed you know matching bottoms so it's a bandeau style bathing suit and it comes with like a choker so this is like the hardest thing to show you but you'll see in the try on portion and it's really cool because it snaps on and snaps off you don't have to like shove this thing over your head and it's all made of um, bathing suit material even cooler if you don't want it to be a choker bathing suit you can completely take that part off because it has snaps and then it's just a regular black bandeau with this cute cutout so I love how versatile this is. It's super cute and I could wear it with like a million different bottoms. And I love it because I always want to wear my choker in the water, but I don't want to like ruin it. I got another bathing suit, but this one is sadly being returned. I want to show this to you because it's literally so cute and I want to encourage you if you're like really tiny to go and buy this. 
because this is the world's smallest bathing suit. Listen, I ordered a medium in both the top and the bottom, and normally I'm like a small or a medium in bathing suits. Um, you know, I got some curves, I got some boobs, and I know everyone's gonna be like, no you don't, but like, I literally can't do a try on because this is literally ridiculous. Like, look at this top. This is a medium. So what does the small look like? What does the extra small look like of this bathing suit? This is from Mandolin Swim. It's literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. It like crisscrosses in the back. Look at this. Like, this is so cute, but it literally just doesn't fit me. The bottoms are not bad at all. They're not like a thong. I mean, they're obviously cheeky, but they cover everything. And so does the front, which I was not expecting. But on the sides, it's just too tight. It kind of makes me bulge on both sides, which is just not a cute thing. So this is sadly going to be going back. I got this adorable bralette. This is so cute. I'm probably not going to try this on. It's just like a little lace bralette. And then here on the bottom, it has this cool crisscrossy thing with these. I wish I could show you. Here we go. Here we go. Do you see it has this like crisscross... Thing. Moving along, I got some vintage Levi jeans. These are so cute. Again, these are their after party vintage. I love these. I think they're so cute, so classic. I feel like everyone needs a pair of these. They're almost like mom jeans, but they're so cute. And just the quality is so good. Levi's are just amazing. The last items that I got are going to be my meetup outfit for VidCon, but I can show you because this is going to go up after VidCon, so you will have seen photos of me in this. So this is from Nasty Gal, and it's the cutest skirt. It's embroidered with these amazing flowers, and I am just obsessed with this. They made a matching bomber jacket. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? This is literally right up my alley. So I got the matching bomber and I'm going to be able to wear this like a million times, but at VidCon I'm going to wear it with the skirt and then probably a black shirt underneath this shirt. So it looks like this. It has like a choker and then a cutout here and it's like a tank top and it's super long, which I don't like. Like I would never just wear this with like a low rise pair of pants. I think it's a little bit weird. This is definitely meant to be tucked in. I kind of wish it was a bodysuit, but you know, no problem. All you gotta do is tuck it in. And I love that it makes you look like you have a choker on. This is so cute. This is the last thing I got from Nasty Gal. These are by the brand Crosswalk and they are these black leather boots. And I think they're super awesome. I was wearing them and Jacob's mom was like, are those acne? And I was like, no, they're from Nasty Gal. So they have like a nice, you know, pointed-ish toe. They're, it's like a little pointed with a little bit of a rounding. And I just think these are like the perfect boots. I'm probably gonna wear these to VidCon. I love them, they fit perfectly, and I believe they were not that expensive. I think maybe $80, which is not that bad for a nice black leather pair of boots. And that is everything that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this collective summer try-on haul. I love you very, very much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!